D.C. has activated the first hypothermia alert of the season. Good evening, I'm Leslie Foster. It's a cold one out there. And tonight the concern is focused on the people in our area who don't have a place to stay. Now you might be wondering, when does the city activate these alerts? It happens when the National Weather Service forecasts the temperatures, including the wind chill, will be 32 degrees Fahrenheit or below. Or when the forecasted temperatures are 40 degrees or below with a precipitation chance of 50% or higher. We'll get to more on what all of this means, but first, let's get straight to the Chief Tupper Shut for DC's most accurate forecast. And Tup, I guess the question is, how are things looking and feeling right now? Well, right now they're cold, but the problem is they're going to get colder overnight, and that is is the real problem, especially if we get into the two, three o'clock, four o'clock hour. Right now it's only 40 downtown. It is in the 30s already in the suburbs, but this is the downtown that was where the uh, hypothermia warning has been issued. So it's just in the 40s, but you factor in the wind. And it's feeling much colder than that. It feels like it's 35. So it's almost feeling like it's freezing downtown. It is much colder, of course, north and west with temperatures feeling like it's in the upper 20s and low 30s. So this is the number we're concerned about because the actual service temp will not make it to 32 tonight downtown, but it has to be either the service temperature or the wind chill temperature. And in this case, the wind chill temperature will satisfy that criterion. It will be 31, 32 degrees for a few hours. In fact, uh, we're looking at uh, tonight's low temperature is only about 37 downtown, but in the 20s and in the uh, 30s to the north and the west. But the wind, again, will make it feel like it's 31, 32 degrees between about 1 o'clock in the morning and about 5 o'clock in the morning. So here's the uh, graph here for you. So by 2 o'clock, it feels like it's 32, 4 o'clock, still 31, and even 6 o'clock, 32. So these are the hours from 2 to 6. That's the real problem hours. After that, it will gradually get warmer. Still a cold day tomorrow, but up to 36 wind chill by 8 o'clock, up to 42 by 10 o'clock, and then finally by noon, it'll feel what the temperature is, 50 degrees. They will both match the wind chill and the actual temperature. We'll come back, though, and we'll talk about why the wind chill is so important and why it makes us feel colder. All right, Top. Continuing our breaking news coverage right now. For the first time this season, the district has opened shelters for anyone who needs a place to stay warm. Colby Satterfield joins us live in Northwest DC with more on what you need to know. Hi, Colby. Hi, Leslie. Tonight, the hypothermia alert is activated here in DC and Montgomery County, and with it, a message from communities urging people to take these cold temperatures seriously. Right now, there are nine shelters open across DC. You can see a map of them here on your screen scattered all throughout the district. These shelters will be open all night long for anyone who needs a warm place to go. Because as Melvin Smith with DC's Department of Human Services tells me, these cold temperatures can be dangerous. It can be extremely dangerous uh, for someone who's been outside for a prolonged period of times. Hypothermia can set in really, really fast, um, usually starts in their fingers or their lower extremities. And um, if you're not properly dressed or covered up at night, the exposure can be very deadly. Then how important is it to have places like this for people to go? It's extremely important. Uh, we have a number of district residents um, who have been displaced, some most recently, some um, over the years, and being able to find somewhere that they can go inside that's warm, they can get a hot meal, um, and not really worry about having to sleep outside, it makes a big difference for a lot of people. What services are put in place to make sure that people can get here? Um, so right here we have the shelter hotline. They have a 24 hour operation where they not only provide transportation to and from shelter, they also are doing welfare checks throughout the night, checking on folks who we know that won't come in, checking on some of our homeless residents who are sleeping in encampments or in tents, making sure they have adequate supplies like blankets, um, water, food, anything that they can do to try to help them, hand warmers, um, hats, are oftentimes things that we give away, including water. What can people do if they see some of their neighbors experiencing homelessness out in these cold temperatures? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, the shelter hotline again is open 24 hours. Um, their phone number is 202-399-7093. Uh, again, 202-399-7093. Um, you can call them. They have dispatchers on duty all night. The hypothermia alert in D.C. extends until tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. I'm live in D.C. Colby Satterfield, WUSA 9. All right, thanks, Colby. So what are the signs of hypothermia and what can you do to prevent it? Well, here at WUSA 9, we verify. We go straight to the experts to get you the facts. Lorenzo Hall is looking out for your safety, so Zoe, tell us more. 
Yes, hypothermia is serious. For a look at the warning signs and symptoms, we went to the Mayo Clinic for answers. First, what is hypothermia? It's a medical condition that happens when your body loses heat faster than it can make it. That causes your body temperature to become severely low. But what makes hypothermia so dangerous? Well, let me break it down. When your body temperature drops below 95 degrees, your nervous system, heart, and other major organs can't do what they need to do. And if it's not treated, you run the risk of heart failure. Now to the warning signs. The first thing you'll notice is shivering. Also be on the lookout for slow breathing, a weak pulse, someone whose speech is slurred, may be confused or unconscious. It's also common for infants to turn bright red and have cold skin. So what can you do to prevent hypothermia? The Mayo Clinic uses this simple acronym, COLD, C-O-L-D. The C stands for cover, cover your head, face, neck, and go ahead and slap some gloves on your hands. The O stands for overexertion. That means avoid activities that'll have you sweating a lot. Wet clothes and cold weather just don't mix. The L stands for layers. Put on several layers of clothes and remember materials like wool and silk hold body heat better than cotton does. And the D stands for dry. Try to keep yourself as dry as possible. The Mayo Clinic says someone with hypothermia usually isn't aware of their condition because the symptoms start off gradually. That combined with the risk of confused thinking prevents a patient from being aware of problems. Less. All right, Zoe, thank you. And of course, the key factor tonight is those wind chills. The chief is here to explain how they make us feel colder. Tom? Yeah, here's the thing, Leslie. It's not going to be as gusty tonight as it was today, but it doesn't take much wind to generate wind chills, and that is the, the key tonight. In fact, uh, by 1 o'clock in the morning, winds gusting to 8 miles per hour downtown, 11 in Gaithersburg. Uh, by the time we get to 3 o'clock again, winds near 10 miles per hour downtown, and by 5 a.m., winds are gusting at 11 miles per hour. And again, it doesn't sound like much, but if you don't have a place to go and shelter with temperatures in the 30s, that is going to feel very, very cold, and you will eventually lose heat quicker than you can make it. By the time we get to 730, winds are down to that 5, 6, 7 mile per hour range, and then by the time we get to 9 o'clock, essentially the same. But by that time, it doesn't really matter because temperatures are going to be rebounding after the night. So what is, how does it make, it make us feel colder? What's the deal with wind? Well, if we don't have wind, Okay, you kind of have like a, a warm blanket around, like convection. We lose heat through convection. So if it's not windy, the heat around us sort of stays around us. Make, makes sense. But if you add wind, and again, you don't need much wind. Let's say it's, you know, if it's 37 degrees and you have no wind, it feels like it's 37. Matches the temperature. But let's say we have wind, and again, maybe a 10 mile per hour wind is all we need. So now that little bubble of heat we had, convection, is now being blown away. OK, so a 10 mile per hour wind at 37 degrees will actually generate a wind chill a little lower than you think actually generates a wind chill down into the uh, low 30s, about 31 degrees or 30 degrees. So again, it's not as gusty as it was today, but just enough to make the criterion and make it feel like it's around 30, 31 degrees between 2 a.m. and 6 a.m. overnight. All right, top. So D.C.'s hypothermia alert lasts through the morning. It ends at 7 a.m., but that could change.